Counselling, because when I was 30, I, I counselled with a, a, an organisation called Accord. It was couple counselling because I thought I knew it all, you know, as you do at 30 years of age. Um, why Pieta? It's a lot, lots and lots of reasons. Um, I suppose the two most obvious and important reasons were that, like many people, um, I was inspired, maybe driven by a personal loss. Um, but also, I was in that counselling therapeutic world where I could see not only gaps in services, but my own behaviour towards people who might have been suicidal or self-harming. Okay. And it would have been a dismissive behaviour. I would have sent them off to A&E or to uh, their GP. And I, I have great shame when I look back on that now. That's a big uh, word to use. Uh on, uh, in that regard, shame. Why would you feel such an intense emotion? Because they came looking for help and I was too afraid to deal with it. So w when you get to that realisation, yeah. you, you obviously try to do everything, you reverse, try to reverse everything. So I spent almost three years researching uh, about suicide and self-harm and two very extraordinary things emerged. Yes. One was that first of all, suicide can be prevented. Yes. And the second thing was that the families are the last people to know. Mm. And I suppose that knowledge, part of that knowledge, shaped what Pieta House became and, um, and shaped what the service should be. And actually, um, 12 years ago, Pieta House was opened this day, 12 years this ago. This day? Yeah. Okay, congratulations. Mm.